Hi everyone, welcome you all. This is Raju Mathu, and today I am going to show you the way to append rows at the bottom of a table view. So, to do that, let's start with index.xml, which is the default or the landing page of the any application that we will going to made using Allo MBC with the Titanium. So for that, let's define the LR tag first. Now, let's define a window which will hold all our UI elements that's that will be displayed on the screen. Now let's add a background color for this window. I'm going to make it white. Now, to add any rows at the bottom of a table view so for that let's define a table view first which will hold some rows now let's add some rows here giving some giving title for this rows which will be displayed on the screen for specific rows now I'm going to add some more rows to this table, making the changing the title so that we can distinguish them on screen. Now let's save it. Now let's add it view at the top of the table view so that which will have a button on click of that button we will add rows at the bottom of these rows so to have a view let's add a view tag at the top of the table now add the button with this on this view let's add some style on this view so to have a style or to define a style let's define id first for this view make it as a header view now i can define style here itself but for better representation or for better coding standard let's add the style at separate style sheet associated with this view so definitely that should be the index.tss as you can see that i have already created the index.tss file which is the index.titanium style sheet so let's assign some style property for this view I'm going to add the background color for this view so that I we can distinguish the header view and the table. So I'm going to make it so blue. Then let's add some width and height of for this view. So I need to show the view throughout the width of the screen so let's make it as a ti.ui.size which will catch fit the view view throughout the width of the screen now let's add height for this view i'm going to make it as 50 that's it now let's add some style for this button so for that again i am going to add the id for this button mm, named it as add button now going to add style for this button on the similar way as we have defined for the view above so let's at the title that will be displayed on the button making it as add then 
define width and height for this button let's make it 60 and height let's add it as 40 and assign the positions right position so let's make it as a simple 100 so that's it now to get the or sorry to append rows on this table on click of the button so let's add a click for event for this button so that we can call the function same function to add rows on the bottom of the table view so name the function as add rows now definitely that should be defined on the related controller associated with this view so this should be on index.js now let's define the function here to get the table we need to define a property first on our in view for this table view so let's define a id property for this table named it as tbl now to add any rows first of all we need to create a row on click of this button so i'm going to creating row here so to create a row we have already we have a titanium api which is create table view row so i'm going to call that api to generate the table view row and then i'm assigning the title which will be displayed on the screen for that specific row so let's define it here row now let's say i want to show the count that is the index of that row as a title for that appended row so for that let's get the total number of rows present on the table and i will add with one so for that let's get the number of rows present on the table first so to get the number of rows we have already seen on my last videos we need to get the table first and then as we don't have any section here so by default we will it's have a it comes under a single section so it will be data zero which will which is the default section and let's get the total number of rows present on this section which will gives you by row count now add it by one that's it now we have created our row so now we need to add this row on that specific table so for that we need to call that row table first so let's call that table now to add any rows or to append any rows on a table titanium also provides a, f a function called append row now just i need to pass the table view row on this function as a parameter so that's it now let's run it on simulator let's now here you can see that i have created the row and then i have append the row at the bottom of the table so it's running oops the view and the section buttons are not displaying here so because i didn't provide the position for the stable 
header and the button so let's add a generic position or generic layout for the window so that all the UI elements comes under this window will get the position according to the layout that I am going to define here so I am going to define it as a vertical so that all the UI elements added on the table sorry added on this window will display one after another at the bottom of one another at the end of one another so I've done it let's run it again on the simulator we can also have the layout as a horizontal so that we can add our component one next to another horizontally so here it is now here you can see that I have added a view first and on the view I have added a button so on click of it, this button we should we should have a row at, at the bottom of the table views so let's click on this now here you can see that I have added a new rows at the bottom at the end of the rows which having a title called row 5 so now add again let's add again one more so this is what the way to add or to append any rows at the bottom of the table view so up to this so on my next video I can I will show you how can we add the section or how can you append the section one another one after another so to this today thanks